Afternoon YouTubers, I'm back with Sigma 60 books and I did, I finished this in a day. I read this yesterday on the tube, so I just devoured it. I, I was by um, Annabelle, I need to ask, is that shit? Is that your actual name? Because that's cool, okay? Which is on Twitter, yes that's mine, okay? So, it started with a tweet, can Daisy log off for love? Let me read the blurb. Daisy Hobson lives her whole life online, but when her social media obsession causes her to make a catastrophic mistake at work she finds her life going into freefall her sister rosie thinks she has the answer a digital detox in a remote cottage in cumbria as soon daisy finds a welcome distraction there in jack the rugged man next door can daisy really settle into life in an isolated village and more importantly can she survive without her phone yeah so daisy works in the city and she spends her entire life pretty much online to the detriment of her actual life. It opens quite early on. She's at this hen night. Tweeting to her followers. Okay. Tweeting pictures that she really, really... Sh put up pictures that she really kind of risque pictures. Okay. Well, you know, it's, it's a Hindu, so... And... She forgets her sister's birthday. Now, which sounds a bit... Innocent enough. But the thing is... She goes straight away to Moonpeer to get a car. She's only got one sister. Who's not close to. Who's only three years older than her. Which I also understood on some level because my sister Anna, she's um, three years older than me as well. So, but I've got the older siblings. So, so and she also works in the city, and she goes on this uh, really, really stupid date, horrible date, and tweets this out to her followers. Okay, this is chapter two. So chapter three. Sexy knickers, twenty five pounds. Brazilian, thirty five pounds. New outfit, one hundred seventy pounds. When your Tinder date is hot as hell and you're going to fuck his brains out, equals hashtag priceless. Not for any snow reality of the snoo pants, for a second it's of the threadbare leggings. Chance of me getting some pretty, getting some might be some might be pretty slim indeed, but the old tweet about the old state of affairs isn't going to push me over the 2,000 2, followers mark, is it? Yeah. The problem is she sent that tweet from her work Twitter account. And you can imagine. Loses her job, loses everything. Bad to be kicked out of her house. Well, a flat share. A, a, a flat share. Oh, her housemate's called, but it's, that's her best mate. So, Sister Rosie's three years old than her, who basically is like, doesn't really care about social media. I did very kind of talk with his lies. Takes her off to this remote cottage in Cumbria. And I love how Annabelle describes the landscape. I've actually been to Cumbria, it's beautiful there. The landscape and the mountains and the area and the districts, and it's beautifully described, okay? On the digital detox, no social media, and it's quite interesting how Daisy has has an addiction, but she won't even admit it. She thinks that it's a, it's okay, but it's clearly clearly not. She cares more about two thousand followers on Twitter to strangers and her own sister's birthday. She lives for social media to the point where she doesn't have a life. Okay, I mean, fine. <coughs> Sorry, I mean, cool. I'm on social media. Okay, I've got Twitter. I, I um. Facebook and my YouTube channel. There you go. Oh, and I have a blog. All right. So yeah, I'm also on social media, but I'm always careful what I put out of there. There you go. So also, Rosie, the sister's having some issues with her own husband. So regarding her husband, the fact is, this place and company she's actually bought. There you go. I wish you could buy a man of Amazon. How great would that be? Be able to customise the different bits and then return them if it wasn't right. I could read the views before you ordered. Rosie shook, shakes her head at me. I just think dating was easier back in the day. We didn't really use our phones as much as we did in halls. So we used to slip notes under my door and that's how we'd arrange to meet each other. That kind of thing. So she meets this guy Jack who is a... Basically, man of the mountains, kind of type. I mean, he's smart, he's intelligent, and he owns a farm. But obviously, the how they meet is just ridiculous. Now, they bring this guy called Alexis, okay, who Rosie thought was a girl, okay, because um, Alex, it's obviously because he's French, to kind of take care of the property, maintain the property, kind of work on the property, okay. Daisy still has her phone, goes for a walk, turns up to into a hike miles up to get a signal. 
and basically falls hard. And that's going to rescue her. Daisy is such in a good this addiction that she just put her life at risk and she's more bothered to care about her phone. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, they took up a friendship. And the thing I actually like is they start courting old-fashioned style. They send letters to each other. Actual physical handwritten letters. Which is quite funny because early on in the book, Rosie bought Daisy a diary. And Rosie basically wrote a sentence as in, I'm stuck in the countryside with my sister, it's hell. And she was like, if someone had... If I put it on Twitter, I would have got a lot of likes. Yeah, so. And it is kind of interesting how this courtship is it's quite cute, quite sweet. There you go. I'm not going to throw the context of, I'm not going to throw the context of this. It just made me laugh. Here you go. <clears throat> Dear Jack, need to apologise about seeing me naked. You really gripped my ass. Was it a little flesh between neighbours or friends, hopefully? Thanks to Buster, we used to now have no shower. So likely you smell me before you see me. Rosie said there's a stream nearby. If ever everyone proves, we can go skinny dipping. FYI, and just in case Buster likes to get pigeon hunting there too. Anyway, see you around, neighbour. Maybe I'll be over some day for some sugar, Daisy. P.S. I don't know what's worse. The fact that you won't tell me you presented the price is right, or that you googled it in the first place. It just made me smile, okay? They struck up conversations, and this whole thing, okay, who presented the price is right. It was just kind of adorable. But the thing is, Daisy is a very, very identifiable character. The thing is, reading this book, I'm not even sure what she even looks like. I don't need to. Because the way she, Annabelle describes the world around her, I thought it was really, really impressive. This is a book where we spend so much of our lives on social media. And I'm going to I'm gonna actually confess this, okay? We spend so much of our lives on social media that we forget about the real lives, okay? Right now I'm having a lack of social life basically in my job it's hard for me to have a work-life balance uh well i don't really have i'm trying to become more social okay because everyone is so busy that it's so easy okay just send someone a text message they're physically seeing them in person and that becomes a hassle we now live our lives in the digital world so i think this is a really really an important book i mean also the way people view us as well if we don't embrace a certain kind of social media is interesting. Now, I'll okay, put it this way. Um, on my YouTube channel, as you've seen now, I do unboxing videos. Or I go to these events, and then I come on my channel, talk about what's in the goodie bags. I talk about the event. Was it good? Was it bad? Okay? One of my ones I did quite recently was for Little Ten, which was a pretty rubbish goodie bag. Okay. Little things like that. Now, a while ago, it's going back about two, maybe three years ago, I went to this event. It was with a young... Um, young kind of company okay it was like a tea company where if you bought a product you bought got a nice little goodie bag what I thought it was a nice good incentive so I got this tea it was thought I've gone through a really bad time in my life my father recently passed away and I um, so I've got kind of like a herbal soothing tea to help you relax to kind of like clear your mind you know then we got chatting and she was like oh um you know, don't forget to put on it in Instagram, okay? And then when I said casually, oh, I'm not on Instagram, because I'm not on Instagram, I saw goodie bags behind her, but she didn't give me one. Even though I would have said I would have done this on YouTube. Because in her eyes, because I would not go on Instagram, which I don't do Instagram, I was not beneficial for her company. It, it was that. At the time, I was a bit of a bad way, because my father passed away to really kind of argue this, but I just left. Because she came more about Gillian mentioned more on Instagram than I think the quality of her product. Yeah. And that's sad. That is actually quite sad if you think about it. So, it started with a tweet. Is I think is quite an important book. It's so easy to do digital detox, okay? When I go on a holiday, I actually don't use social media at all. I keep my I keep my phone on airplane mode because um saves a camera, um saves a battery for cameras. So I really really enjoy this book. Hey, I read it the other day. Annabelle is a really really good author. I recommend this book. It's fun. It's frothy. It's got a smart message to it. Okay, and one thing I like about Daisy is her life falls apart, but she she picks herself back up. <clears throat> so, with skill. I like that. So, 
had a bit of a tweet by Annabelle. I put the blurb um, and down below of if we want to buy it. I'm going to confess now, I got this in the works and it was a pound. It was on a sale. Okay, so. But I love Annabelle's work. I'm going to look out for the bucket list of men of broken heart and the girlfriend's, the good girlfriend's guide to getting even. God, that's a title. So, Annabelle, well done. Great book. And sign off here. Stick my sister books. And bye now.